it's time for another I will have order video and yeah I think I I'm, I'm not sure but uh, in that series I built this little tower where I keep my resistors and capacitors in stock uh, yeah uh, basically <laughs> card link and I have here a corner where I want to do basically the same for other parts, okay? And yeah, the <laughs> basic building block is here, uh, 25 year old, 30 year old, I don't know. I will look it up uh, or estimate it at least. And yeah, this should go here. And in order to do that, I mean, it's a quite simple task, but it has to be done at some point. Uh, I first have, yeah, to build this thingy here. Uh, yeah, the f not the foundation. Um, uh, I don't know how to call that. So that uh, if you vacuum here, uh, that you don't bump actually into the magazines. And yeah, as I said, this is already here. Here is some <laughs> leftover wood I can use uh, from the, uh, maybe you recognize them, IKEA Ivar shelves. And uh, yeah, let's go to work. For that job, I like, usually like to use a piece with such a brace in between. So uh, yeah, I get the distance between the two outer parts exactly right uh, within IKEA tolerances. However, uh, yeah, can't use that in this case here. <laughs> uh, so let's get rid of those braces first. That was too bad. Let's cut off the dirty part here. We can't reuse that anyway. Yeah, and now 29.9 <laughs> centimeters in here. Yeah, about. Done. Yeah, I couldn't help myself and <laughs> took a little bit of sandpaper to it and uh, yeah, made these sides, which will be visible, a wee bit nicer and uh, yeah, rounded off, am I in focus, rounded off all the corners that will be visible. And now, of course, we need two short stops here and here. And of course, <laughs> there's not enough wood left, so <clears throat> have to work on that piece a little bit more.
okay and this should be the same length as that one here which for some reason it isn't <laughs> shit <clears throat> sorry uh yeah Now, that's that's more like it. Uh, the rest I can do with sandpaper, but if I have to at all, yeah, I have no idea what went wrong with that piece here really hmm. now comes the critical part <laughs> putting everything together and i have laid out everything i need including some wet cloth to yeah wipe off any excessive wood glue and yeah And now we let the whole thing dry. And yeah, here's a little bit more glue, but it uh, should get clear when it's binding. And uh, yeah, nobody will see that. <laughs> okay. Wood glue has dried and Yeah, slight problem. Uh, yeah, as the wood glue dried, I don't know, can you see that? Nee. Here too. Ah, we'll see how that fits, but uh, that was basically the reason I wanted to have a piece with a brace in between but um, yeah we'll see how this works out well <clears throat> I don't know why but uh, it seems to fit perfectly huh even if this is uh, no longer right angles and Hey. There's some magic going on here. Um, anyway, um, the feet of the shelves are shimmed here because, uh, yeah, uh, the floor is not really even. It's an old building. Uh, so I need some shims uh, with the same thickness before I can put this on here to shim that too. Ah. So I got the bottom board out of the shelf and <clears throat> obviously I wasn't <laughs> in there for quite a while. So uh, let me clean that up real quick.
much, much better. So the idea is to pre-drill two holes here, uh, yeah, uh, at the right angle and at the right uh, position, obviously, and uh, hold in <clears throat> my base here with, uh, yeah, two screws through those holes. And by the way, the screws came from my <laughs> scrap heap scavenge a uh, card link. Let's do that. Now my screws are just yeah peeking out here a bit and if I take my shims to get my base at the right height all I need to do is to hammer then a little bit in to get that impression here and now I can pre-drill that a little bit. And yeah, uh, they are not really centered. I mean they're centered that way but uh, not necessarily that way because um, you know getting that thing down to the floor <clears throat> And now I can screw it on, hopefully. That's it. Let me clean up and uh, we can attach the magazine. All that's left is getting two screws in the back here and uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm trying to align this to the best of my abilities before I put the screws in, which is not trivial because yeah, there's not a single straight line in this house. Not easy at all. I need to pre-drill that or I won't be able to get that in. Oh, all my nice alignment done for nothing. I can pre-screw it. Nah, pre-drill with a manual. <laughs> Pre-driller? How do you call these? things in English, British or American English, I don't care.
And there you have it. Shaken. The base of the next tower uh, I will build up here uh, with more magazines for parts. Uh, till then, bye.